What advice would you offer other companies who are looking for ways to be more inclusive and more diverse? Ooh, that's a big question. Yeah. I, did you want to tackle that first, Stephanie, or are you happy for me to? Yeah, I'll give it a go. I think look at the skills. They might not impress you in person. They might not make as much eye contact as you want them to, but if you really look at what they can do and their attention to detail and their perseverance, um, there's a lot of and loyalty and honesty of big qualities with people on the spectrum. Um, I think people that have gone this far in life, you know that they're hardworking. So I'd say give them a chance and see, maybe do something that's a skills-based task so it's not completely a verbal-based interview. Mm -hmm. I think that might give them time to shine. Uh, there's different opinions on that, of course. Russell, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, that's, that's true. That's, that's what we do at Autocon. So, so, you know, as you can imagine, interviews are basically a way, a social construction of how you, you, you well, how we now generally assess someone's competence in a job. But actually, it's, it's, a, it's a test of selling skills, which individuals with autism, for various reasons, will find harder because, again, it requires theory of mind and knowing kind of what other people want to know, how much detail to go into. Um, but what is really important, actually, what you want to know in an mm -hmm. interview is can that person to do that job? So technical technical tests, tasks, task-based kind of interview processes are probably a better way to go. And actually, can you actually test someone's competence at that, that skill rather than their ability to talk about their competence or, or their abilities, I guess, is probably a better way to go. But I guess it's also about, you know, when you, as an employer, if you think about the employees you already have and finding out, are you doing enough to support them from a, from you know neurodiversity perspective? So it's about kind of opening up you know surveys and and questioning whether you are doing all you need all you can do for for individuals, and making sure that you are making reasonable adjustments when necessary, and encouraging people to disclose uh, at the earlier stage as possible if they have a you know autism or neurodivergent condition, um, so that you can put in place. Um, any reasonable adjustments that, that allow that person to excel or perform that role um, the best to the best of their ability, I think. You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety. You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.